It felt pretty good because coming back the second year in a row, uh, just wanted to come in and run my best. Not, I didn't have a lot of pressure on it, so just come in here and try to do my best. Now, obviously, you won it last year, but it wasn't here. They alternate every year. What was the difference this year from last year? Uh, definitely, this is a faster course, so I like to run better on hills, so trying to break down the competition on the flat course is pretty hard. It's, it reminds me kind of like a track race, like how flat it is. Just talk about the, the game plan going in and where did you feel that you had control of the race? Uh, the game plan going in was definitely like stay controlled during the first mile and then around the second mile try to make a move and see if I can break the field. And then the first mile it went pretty well and then around the mile and a half I decided that I wanted to go and then that's kind of where I pulled away and then up the hill and around the guardrail. And then coming down into the chute, you were by yourself by, by a lot. Just talk about that feeling when you, go, you know you have your second uh, championship wrapped up. Uh, it feels pretty good, but you just can't, like, take it easy. You kind of have to keep going to the finish line, not give up. Well, killed coach Sabrina Lucas, very pleased with Cordai winning and with the effort of her young team as they're having a pretty good season. Um, I'm really proud of Craig today because when you go Tri-County, you're putting out a bigger net of people to try to beat. And, um, you know, he's really focused. He's where he needs to be today. And with this race being five days before NJAC, we had to take it in a kind of a strategical way. And just talk about how the team ran today. Um, for a bunch of young guys, they did okay. The heat hit everybody. I'm not using that as an excuse, but we are young. We weren't predicted to do anything. We're racing one senior, one junior, and the rest are sophomores. I had to make sure we got a walkthrough because they'd never been on this course before. And uh, just talk about the season you guys are having. Um, it's nice. It's not that it's expected, but this is what the hard work of all the kids are paying off and getting done. So it's, we're really pleased with how things are going. Top finisher in the Muggs Media area, Regina Duncan from North Warren. We just went out knowing that we had to finish top and do really well. Take us through the game plan. Obviously, you know Voorhees and North Hunter, and they got some great runners, but you were right there in the mix. I knew that they were really good competitors, so if I stayed with them, I would finish probably up with them, hopefully. Does that inspire you to, to, to even run harder when you, when you see these kids that are up there, like the, the teams from Voorhees? Yeah, because you know the big names, and you know that they're going to perform well, so if you stay by them, hopefully you'll perform with them. North Warren coach Ryan Hashway very pleased again as North Warren was the top team from Muggs Media in the area, placing third. And the girls race dominated by the Hunter Warren teams in Voorhees and North Hunterdon, but from Sussex County, Rose Ippolito from Newton was the top finisher. It was a hard race, but it was a good race. I felt pretty good, and there's some top athletes here, so I didn't place in the top seven, which I like, would have liked to, but I think it was a fun race, and... I'm looking forward to end Jack next week. Take us through the game plan. Obviously, you know Voorhees is so good. They got the top line runners at North Hunterdon and everyone. What was your game plan coming in individually? Well, my coaches, they told me to, in the beginning, to go to the back of the first pack. So I did that. And then also on that hill over there, they told me to go as hard as I could. So that was basically my plan.